because I didn't want to sell it. What is this? What was that? That was so, wait, whoa, what is that? Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft One Life. So I've been saying for a long time that I wanted to name my wolves. Well today is the day I have chosen three names for my puppos. So I need to make them dog tags. Let's take a look at how we do that. We need leather and string. This should be easy to do. I think I have leather and I think I have string. Now finding leather and string, that's going to be a completely different story. My inventory and my chests are just so full right now, it's crazy. Let's sort them out. Okay, I have everything I need to make dog tags. Let's go ahead and put the string and the leather together. We have five dog tags, that is enough. You know what? We have 15. We don't need all of those, but now we have 20. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, by the way guys, I replaced my inside buttons with pressure plates, so now I don't need to press buttons. Obviously zombies can't do that. But if my wolves ever walk on by, they might accidentally do that. So I need to name all of these guys. I wish they would sit down, separate. Uh-oh. Hey, stop it. This wolf is crazy. Okay, there we go. This wolf I am going to call Sonic. I thought it was a cool name seeing as though he has a blue collar and Sonic the Hedgehog is blue. Also, I have a hedgehog in real life and he's called Sonic, so it just makes sense. The wolf with the red collar is going to be called Flash because Flash has a red suit in the comic universe. So there we go. Flash. <laughs> I think it's a really cool name. The last wolf we have here is Ramona. Ramona Flowers from Scott Pilgrim. If you don't know, she has color changing hair and sometimes it's purple. So there we go, Ramona. Now that, blah, 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 blah. Now that means we have three wolves and I don't like having an odd number. So I would like to breed my wolves, which means I need to go get myself some pork. I think, it, I don't know if it's beef. I don't know. Let's just throw it on the floor and see who goes for it. Sonic, Ramona. Do you eat that? I don't think they like beef. I think they only eat pork. Okay, so we have a pork shop here. Wait, are you guys gonna eat that? Are my wolves just not interested in the food I offer them? Maybe they don't want it? My wolves are not wanting to breed. I'm not entirely sure why, but I mean, they don't have to breed. If they don't want to, they don't have to. I'll leave them there. Okay, that's very strange, but whatever. I'm sure we'll be able to find out why they're not eating. Also, I went to Joey's shop and I bought some of this glow psyllium before it sold out. I had to do it off camera because I didn't want to sell it. What is this? What was that? That was so- Wait, whoa, what is that? Okay, maybe we should take a look. Wait, is there a villager in my garden? Hello, have you been hiding from me? Hey, you're not allowed in here. Get out. Okay, what is that? Oh my goodness. There is a giant picture of Callum on the front of my house. What the heck? It's so big that it glitches out. Wow. Yeah, I should probably get rid of that because I know we all love Callum, but we don't love him enough to have a giant picture of him on our house. So I'm sorry, Callum. You've got to go. Goodbye. My skeleton horse is still missing, so we still only have the zombie horse. But you know what? Me and Kyle can share. It's all good. I've also done something super cool that I want to show you guys. I've made myself a farm. I'm going to be doing a lot more cooking and baking for the bakery. So look at all the stuff I've planted. There's like one of everything. Well, I'm slowly collecting everything anyway, but there's like one of nearly all of the vegetables. We still have a lot of rows in the back there that need filling up and I'm gonna need a lot of lily pads to put in the water so I can walk between them. I started doing it over here, but I used all of my bones so I can't get any more lily pads and Lizzie isn't selling any bones anymore, which is super sad, but there we go. That's what I've been doing so far. Yeah, this glow stelium. I don't know what it is. So I would really wanna go and check this out. Maybe if we put it over in the corner near the blue trees. I'm not sure. Let's try it out. I don't know what it does. It just looks pretty. Oh no. If you smash it up, it turns back into dirt. Man, that sucks. Okay, we have a nice little <laughs> section. We can always pick it back up with a pickaxe, a silk touch one if we need it, but I just put it there for now. I don't really know what it is. It just looked cool and I didn't want it to sell out, so I bought some. I've been making a lot of money in my shop recently. People have been buying my diamonds out. I've now had to put the price up to 10 gold for one diamond because it's selling out that fast. It's crazy. Oh! This is what I wanted to do today as well. I really, really wanted to make myself an advanced diamond sword because I feel so behind. I don't actually have 
a diamond sword yet will I do but not an advanced one but that's what I want to do today I'm actually running kind of low on diamonds I only have 64 which I know might sound like a lot but it's not in my eyes I've had a lot more than that in the past but I put a load in my store let's go ahead and make myself a diamond sword wow it's so pretty and we need to make it advanced so we need blocks of diamonds we need eight of those oh my goodness are we gonna have enough <gasps> we don't have enough okay i'm gonna have to go to my store and take my own diamonds i told you i was running low this sucks here i am at my store has anyone been buying anything nope oh since i put my price up nobody's bought them <laughs> that's really funny Okay, I'm gonna take half of those. I don't know if people are actually gonna buy anything else. I also added cactus 64 for a bit of gold. Maybe somebody will buy it one day for a die. It's pretty cheap, so hopefully they will. I also added a donations box outside of the bakery because all the food is free, so you can just come and take it. I've also asked Kyle to go ahead and make some food for this place and we'll keep it stocked up. But we've had no donations so far. Although Scott actually visited and he gave me free diamonds, which was very nice of him. He didn't have to do that, but he gave me free. Which means we've had our first customer. I don't know if you can call it a customer because, you know, I'm giving it away for free. But we've had our first person visit the bakery. I also spent a diamond going to Joey's spa. So if he finds a diamond in his hopper, that was from me. I needed to fix up my health and I don't really visit his spa that much. So I thought I'd go and test it out. So I did. This should do it, hopefully. Oh my goodness. Am I able to do this? I think I am. Wow, advanced diamond sword. I'm so happy with this. Okay, let's put some diamonds in there for Kyle to use. And put that up there. Yay. Ooh, I also want to put my banner somewhere that I got from Lizzie. Maybe you could put it above the fireplace. Nope. I'm not really sure where to put it. Maybe over here. Oh, that's adorable. I love it so much. It really matches my living room. So now that I have a diamond sword, I really want to make an upgrade for this. I definitely want to have the sharpness upgrade, which requires paper, flint, and an iron sword. And you can make five of those until the next level. So let's go ahead and make five of those upgrades. I definitely have enough flint. I have everything here that I need, so I should be able to make five of these upgrades. And now let's apply them to our sword. Wow, there we go. We have sharpness five now, and let's see what it takes to get to sharpness 10. Prismarine, I'm never gonna be able to get that. And diamond swords? Yeah, definitely cannot afford that. Can we do smite? Cause that would be a good one. I don't actually have any bones though. Oh, I wish the bone lady would update her store. I think we have to wait until she does to be able to get smite but it's definitely looking like something that we need. Fire aspect could be a really good one to do. I have a load of these fire chargers. Yeah, I think we should do that one next. But that means that we need to go ahead and find ourselves some coal because it's something that I never really pick up anymore. Into the mines. Oh, how I haven't missed this. I go mining all the time, but I'm always in my safe areas, which I pretty much dug up everything. Okay, let's go this way. Are you kidding me? The blood moon is rising. Hopefully no bad guys can get me down in the mines. Coal. This is what I need. Ooh, gold. I'm really creeped out here because there's a crafting table and a furnace. And I don't think I put this here. And I don't know if this is linked up with somebody else's mine. But I'm getting all of the coal and I feel good about it. Oh wow, you can have elite fire aspect. My goodness. <laughs> so I definitely have enough coal to do this now. I think I might get this elite fire aspect as well. That's gonna cost me eight blaze rods, but I think it's worth spending the diamonds on that to have like a ridiculously OP sword. Now to find my way out of this place because I don't know where I am and it's scary dark. Oh, is this diamond? Did I just find diamond? What the heck? One diamond just on its own? What a weird place. Home, sweet home, let me inside. And it's not a blood moon anymore, which is great. Let's go ahead and make the upgrade. So that's fire aspect one. And then I think I can do fire aspect two as well. Ta-da, ridiculously awesome sword. I would also love to get looting. That would be amazing. What do you need? Block of gold and lapis for the extra one. Ooh, looting could be so good. 
think I'm gonna do that. So I need to go and get some gold so I can make free looting from this. Oh, I'm so excited. But there we go, that's one looting, two looting, and three looting. I think I can't do the extra looting because I don't have that much lapis. And you need like blocks of lapis here for each one. I don't have enough to do that. We can try, I just don't think I have enough. Okay, so I'm able to get one looting, which means my sword is looting four. Pretty good, right? And then I really want to get Unbreaking, which is a chest plate, obsidian, and paper. I don't have much obsidian, no. I think I might have to leave that one till next time because it requires obsidian, which obviously I don't have a lot of. I think off camera I'm gonna go and do some mining because I'm running out of diamonds, which I never thought would happen, but I am. But I am pretty happy with my sword so far. I feel so powerful. Ooh, I could do with feather falling. So I'm gonna put the feather falling on my boots. I've been waiting a long time to get this actually. There we go. And how do I do the extra feather falling? Beds. Oh, weird. Okay, I have four beds in here. Which actually taking them from the pirate ship came in handy. I need to just make one final bed and then I can make my upgrade. It's a lot of beds I need. Oh no, I don't actually have enough wheat. Okay, I think I'm gonna go and take Joey's wheat and leave him a diamond. That's like a ridiculously good trade because I haven't got a wheat farm of my own yet. And I'm sure Joey will appreciate the diamond. Well, let's go over there and leave him a diamond. Okay, so let's put a chest down and also a sign. I use some of your wheat in return. Here's a diamond. And hopefully I'll never have to use his wheat again. I don't know if I already said this, but I left Joey a chest as well with some paperback saplings in because he needs paper all the time. I don't know if I said that in the last episode, but I did that too. So now he's got two chests from me. He's going to think I'm a stalker or something. Oh no, there's a skeleton shooting at me. While we're at Joey's, we may as well make the upgrade. So here we go. <gasps> Elite feather falling. Let's apply that to our boots. Awesome. I should probably make the rest of those, but I need to harvest my sheep for some wool. Well, my feather falling didn't work. I just took a heart of damage. Let's get to work on my sheeple. <gasps> you need actual red beds? No, that's so annoying. I didn't dye them red, so now they're only white. I wonder if I can dye the beds red. I'm gonna be so annoyed if we can't dye these beds because I've got 12 of them. Oh, we can, thank goodness for that. Okay, we've got our first upgrade, our second upgrade, and finally, after shearing a chicken to death, we have our third upgrade. Yay! Now let's add that to our boots. Wow, these are super pimped out. Look at them, feather falling to the maximum. I'm so happy with that. Now hopefully this should prevent me from falling and killing myself because you know that's what I always do. Oh and Callum put a picture of himself in my bedroom and I don't know how to get rid of it. Do I just keep punching it? Ah there we go. I punched it down. We really need to get him back and I'm not quite sure how yet. So I need to get Scott back for his prank that he did on me. And now I need to get Callum back. If you can let me know two pranks to get them both back, let me know in the comments section. I'm thinking about doing something really clever involving the both of them. Anyway guys, really hope you did enjoy today's upgrade video. If you did, do make sure to leave a like. I'm so happy I finally have an advanced diamond sword. You guys have been telling me to do this forever. And now I finally have it. If you did enjoy this episode of One Life and if you made it to the end, make sure to write the word spaghetti in the comments section. Also, leave a like. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.